Thank you. What's going on, everyone? This is Chris Enriquez, aka Hyper Neon, here for Game Tangent. We just got done playing a little kind of indie game by uh, THQ Nordic, I think. Uh, it's called Battle Chasers Night War. Um, it's a really like stylized, turn-based RPG um, with randomized dungeon crawling. Um, they told us that the individual tiles in the dungeon are all randomized, as well as the items within the tiles of the dungeon themselves are also randomized. Um, it's a pure turn-based RPG, uh, you know, different characters, I think they said there's six total characters, there's a crafting system, um, but yeah, the, the animation style is just absolutely gorgeous. I just got done playing the demo here, had a lot of fun with it. Um, turn-based RPGs are kind of one of my favorites and it's a it's kind of a dying breed you don't really see it too often we have these super burst power-up attacks um, which you can use it looks like he's about to use the flame slug burst power here which are really awesome this is uh, after you charge up for a while you get overcharged and then you can use these crazy attacks that do just tons of damage usually inflict like a lot of status ailments stuff like that you can see the animations that go along with them are you know really cool um, you know and it's something different than kind of like your typical JRPG animation style which is usually a little bit more cartoony um, it's actually a really intricate combat system um, as you can see kind of on the left side of the screen uh, the, you know that's your turn that's kind of the order that's coming up as you deal you know slow and haste and that kind of stuff uh, it'll rearrange the order very reminiscent of some of the earlier I think like Final Fantasy games um, but yeah you can you know do status elements or status elements can stack on top of each other and this is the enemy using an overcharge attack here a burst attack where he's just gonna deal this is the final boss of the demo actually but he's just gonna deal like a ton of status ailments onto every character and uh, once you uh, stack the, the status ailment, you can actually do other attacks that like, you know, if an enemy is inflicted with a specific ailment, it'll do double damage, it'll do kind of splash damage to other enemies. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of your typical, you got your, like, your mage, your tank, who's also a healer in this one, which is pretty interesting. Your DPS character kind of right in the front. Uh, she's kind of like an earth mage type person. She deals a lot of earth attacks like earthquake and throws these huge boulders at the enemy. The big tank guy in the back does a lot of kind of gun based attacks. Um, and he's kind of like your main healer. He's also your cleanse person. So he takes all status ailments away from other characters. And then the mage in the bottom, um, you know, does kind of like your typical, you know, flame storm and kind of dark attack and that kind of stuff um, but what's really cool is actually kind of like, like just the dungeon crawling there's you know traps in the environment as you walk around uh, you know there's kind of different hooks in each room and so in one room we went into there was a bunch of spikes on the ground and the world is actually the room is actually completely dark so as you're walking through the world you have to try and navigate all the spikes and as you walk over them you you know you if you walk over them you take damage um, but you can cast a spell of light in the dungeon itself, which kind of gives you an orb of light so you can move around a little bit easier. Um, there's uh, just, you know, random creatures in the environment as you walk around, so you can try to avoid them. Uh, they're pretty quick, so once they see you, they kind of swarm onto you. Um, you can also, uh, one of the attacks that the big guy has there out when he's walking around the dungeon is he can shoot. So he can kind of take out enemies before he actually engages them. So, you know, you can kind of, if you, you only have a limited use on some of that stuff. So I think he has six shots. So if he uses them, he'll, uh, he'll take out an enemy and that's one less enemy you would actually have to fight when you're in the, when you're in the turn-based combat system here. Uh, but as you can see, as he started doing damage to this uh, cadaverous mound, uh, he kind of shrunk down and he split off another piece. He got the cadaverous clone. Um, and so, you know, uh, you know, nothing too crazy. There's, there's no crazy hook outside the normal here, but it's just refreshing to play a straight turn-based RPG. Uh, you don't really get a lot of that nowadays.
Um, and it's, you know, it's just one of my favorite types of playing. A lot of the games now are action-based RPGs, right, where you control a single character and uh, the other characters just kind of do what they want. Or like Final Fantasy XII, we have a gambit system and you can kind of, you know, control them. But, and, uh, you know, you can kind of program them, but you don't control them. Um, so it's nice in this one to kind of take your time and really strategize as far as what you're going to do. Yeah, I'm um, So super enjoyable. You should definitely check it out. The game comes out October 3rd, I believe they told me, on all platforms. It's called Battle Chasers Night War. Um, so take a look at it. Check it out. And, uh, yeah, that's it. My name is Chris Enriquez, a.k.a. Hyper Neon. Thanks for watching Game Tangent, guys.